Hey guys, Kev here, and I have unboxings to do for you. So, unboxing knife is the 8020.5 with these epic carbonized Arctic fat carbon scales. You're probably getting sick of seeing everywhere. Um, I did just order the backspacer to go with it. Apparently, he makes those, and I didn't know when I ordered these scales. So, that's kind of stupid that I didn't know, but whatever. I ordered that today. Love this thing. So I have a few packages here. I'm just going to rip into this one is from Christine Hartman, who happens to be women carry knives. So hopefully you guys are following women carry knives. Christine is the shit. Um, Peter, her husband is okay. He's an okay guy, a therapeutic edge. <laughs> no, he's cool too. And uh, they together make up a pretty goddamn cool knife couple and they have a lot of knives lots of knives so if you're looking for a knife that's in the smaller category hit up christine like i did if you're looking for a big ass knife hit up peter anyway i reached out to them i actually reached out to peter because he posted a picture of this knife and i was like damn i, I really wanted to just check one of those out and he told me when I asked if I could borrow it that it's not his, it's Christine. So he asked her, and then I talked to Christine. Anyway, that's how this happened. And let's see. So it's a lot of stuff. A knife. Nice. That's a good thing. Bubble wrap. And oh, cool. And a little women carry knives uh, swag pack. Check it out. So we got a band aid, which I may need. Uh, a few stickers and a Hershey kiss or whatever. Hershey. Look at that. Women carry knives. WCK bitches. Women carry knives. So if you are a woman or you like women, you should be checking out Christine's channel. Go check it out right now. Okay. So the knife I wanted to check out is the Ohlone Knives Goat. So you're going to say, Kev, you have one of those. What are you talking about? So, what I have is the version two of this knife. This is version one. This is made by Tuya Knife Company, which you guys might remember, I recently have been posting about the, um, the Big Belly from Tuya. So that's the company that OEM this. Riot is the company that OEMs the version two, which you can currently get the version two. Uh, down below is a link to Urban EDC Supply. It's my affiliate link. They actually have this knife in the version two with JG10 and or green G10 inlay. Um, it comes with a satin blade and M390 and it's made by Riot. I believe Derek Costa, the guy behind Ohlone, also may have some version twos in different inlays if you don't like Jade or uh, Green G10. They're about 270 bucks. So this one is made by Tuya. And I just wanted to kind of see the differences. Like, you know, the build quality between, I always rave about Riot, right? And people tell me all the time that there's a lot of OEMs that can do Riot quality stuff. It's just about what you order and all that. So I wanted to see, is that true? And I also just wanted to see the differences, you know? Um, this knife has a excellent detent. Drops pretty well. I mean, this is doggone close to the version 2. I don't have it right here. I'd say mine is a little snappier, but doesn't mean that it needed to be. This is, you're not failing this. This is perfect. So uh, I like this and the drop action, the closing action, honestly, I think is better on this knife. The version two has a um, detent ball ramp. And when you disengage it, it usually gets caught like right here. And then you can't shake past, you end up shaking it open. open. And this seems to handle that a little better. We're dead nuts on centering. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm using the front camera because I keep fucking it up and I don't want to mess it. And the reason I've always wanted this one is because of the inlay. It's carbon fiber. Look at that marbled carbon fiber. Uh, just way nicer than using G10, right? 
Um, has the same, uh, it looks like, construction. It might even have one less screw. I feel like the version 2 has a ton of screws. This one only has two down there, so I like that. Um, this blade, the difference here is this is a um, stone wash, looks like. I do believe it is M390. Feels okay sharp. Doesn't feel like super sharp. Yeah, it's good. Um, but yeah, you got a stone wash on this. I believe it did come in a satin version. I'm not sure of that, but I can tell you right now, I have the version two and I love that build. Um, but I think I would probably prefer this one just because of that marbled carbon fiber. The action just on the clothes feels a little better. Ergos are just as good. Um, they even knock these corners down right here a little better. I'm going to do a full comparison. Uh, I'll probably do a blade battle between these two. I had to sand the corner down right here on mine because when I went to disengage left-handed, you know, I have it open. I pushed the lock. That corner stabbed into my palm and it actually hurt. So I had to sand it down, like literally took sandpaper and went sh like twice and it was gone. The flipper tab on here, I like it a lot. Wow, I am very impressed. Now I need to get me one of these. Now I did hear that there was, uh, that's one thing you're gonna find with uh, comparing Riot to other companies. I did hear of some people having issues with their goats, like their detents were light or whatever. So this one's perfect, but that doesn't mean they all are. And that's the thing with Riot, they usually nail it and they're at least within a very small margin where even if it is different, it's still good, if you know what I mean. It's not too light or too strong. Um, so anyway, that's the Ohlone Goat version one. Big thank you to Women Carry Knives, Christine. Uh, you have no idea how long I've been looking to get one of these in my hand. Uh, ever since I saw it on Slicey Dicey's channel, probably, it, it has to be close to two years ago at this point. So thank you so much for letting me check that out. That's one I have been awaiting for. Uh, then I have, what do I got? This, this package here. I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna open this one. I have a couple others, but I'm gonna do separate videos for those because I know what they are, I think. Uh, this package says, it says it's from Robbins. So I do know one guy with that last name. Ah, oh, wait. No. Is it? Okay, hold on. Is this from Grateful Panic? But what was he sending me? He mentioned sending me a... Uh, Jesus. I'm, this thing ain't sharp. I'm just kidding. It's just not... This tape he used is incredible. It's like super tape and I don't want to cut into the package too far you know like I literally can't cut through this shit Ugh. damn dude fuck all right let's see I don't know what this is is this from grateful panic because that is his last name. And he's from South Carolina. Oh, yeah, and he's from that city. Yeah, 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 okay. It's definitely him. He said something about sending me a PMP to check out. This is a cool pouch. Whatever it's for, it's cool. I like it. And this here is a knife. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I think he told me it was a PMP Spartan, if I'm right. I think he got it at White Mountain Nights. I could be totally wrong on this. All right, fires out. Yep, PMP Spartan. Damn, I'm good. Can you see that? This is why I don't use the front camera because people always complain about like, oh, it's not, it's not focusing. You know, like the back camera, I never have issues with that. I also don't know what I'm showing, so it makes it easier for me not to care. Edge feels good. Okay. What the hell? Like it doesn't want to close and then it just whips down. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I 
Let's try the flick left-handed. Okay, so that's not bad. Ergo's, it's a little bit small. I have a large glove size hand and this kind of just fits in my hand. There's a little kind of flat area here that you could call a choil, but I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of weird ergonomically, but it's okay. The blade looks cool. I kind of like the design. I mean, it's not really my thing, but I like the kind of reverse Tanto deal sort of thingy. Sheep's footy Tanto. It's got to be on washers, right? The detent is solid. I'll say that. I, I, I say that. It feels like it. A little bit of blade play. I can feel the pivot, like, moving. Um... It's dead centered. Eh, it kind of look like bearings in there. I kind of like that flick though. It's got a good, really lightweightness to it. A lot of milling in there. The lock bar is pretty mushy. I will say that pushing that over is kind of awkward because it's like down here, but then it also goes all the way up there and that's where it locks up, which is really weird, right? So you have to push it like, I don't know. It's like it wants you to engage it, disengage it down here. But normally you'd want to disengage it a little bit higher, right? I don't know, it's kind of where it feels like a slow roller. Um, the front flip works pretty well. So I don't know. It's an interesting knife. I mean, definitely something different, you know. Uh, what's the steel? He likes D2, right? Not John, uh, PMP. It doesn't say what the steel is. I'll have to ask John what it is. Definitely got some wiggies in here. No lock rock or anything. So a weird one, but pretty cool. So yeah, that's what I got here, guys. The Ohlone Knives Goat and the PMP Spartan have been unboxed. Two kind of different design, obviously different than each other, but different in general than uh, what you guys see a lot. So there you go. Thank you guys for checking these out. Thank you again to Christine and thank you to Grateful Panic, another channel you need to go check out. Both of these channels are amazing, guys. Um, now I'm hoping it was John. He didn't put any stickers in or anything, but I'm guessing it was him. Um, really sweet, sweet channel. Uh, John is a great dude, he's a good friend. And uh, so is Christine and another great channel. So you guys can't go wrong with that content. And both of them do live streams every week. So go check them out. Thank you, guys. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.